or I'm doing this video to take you through a full day of eating with me and my training and show you as I prep for the Naturally Fit Show, which is in April, which is about three months away. So I'm gonna show you everything that I'm doing for the whole day. First thing waking up, we're gonna drink some tea. Got this peach detox tea. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Um, and we, then after we drink this tea, probably about an hour and a half later, then we're gonna have breakfast. So right here, I'm just gonna put it in and I'm gonna use the, um, I'm gonna use two things of stevia in it. And that's what we're doing first. So that's the first thing we do upon waking up and then we'll have breakfast about an hour and a half later. All right, now we're going on to breakfast. But what I'm having half for breakfast is oatmeal and a half of grapefruit. Basically, I got two oatmeal packs. I'm just gonna break it, open it up, put it inside the bowl, two packets. And to give it a little flavor, what I have is this PB2, pretty good stuff. Just put it inside here to give it a little bit of flavor. Right there, not too much. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna got some protein. This is cinnamon swirl whey protein. Put a scoop of that in there. And then go add some, go add some water. Yeah, then I'm have that um mix that up, put that in the, you know, put that in the microwave. That's gonna be breakfast. The next, let me throw this away. Next thing. I got the half a grapefruit, I'm not gonna eat a whole one, half a grapefruit. What I do, I got this little liquid stevia right here, and I just, just put it on there to give it a little bit more flavor right there. I got my water. All right, now it's time to go to work out. I'm gonna work out right here at the house doing an intense leg and ab workout. So basically I got my pre-workout, put one scoop in here, pre-workout, and then what also mix with it, got some L-cartonine, just put a little drop in there. And then one more thing I mixed with, because basically prepping for a contest, so got my fat burning right here. This is hydroxy cut, it's the powder mix. I just mix it in with the um, just mix it in with the pre-workout. So I'm gonna drink that, then work out here at the house. I'll show the workout here. It's gonna be, I'm gonna use a lot of dumbbells and barbells, intense leg workout. You'll see, even though it's gonna be at home, it's gonna be a tense workout. All right, the first super set is gonna do. Rear lunges elevated from elevated position, 12 on each leg. We're gonna stay on one leg and finish 12 reps before we go to the other one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, other side. 12 reps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, put that down. Now I'm gonna do some back squats. Right here, grab a barbell. Put it on my back, right here, 12 reps, going deep into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. 12. All right, that, I'm gonna do a total of four sets of that. There's some split squats. What we're gonna do, have the rear, rear leg elevated, do 12 reps on each side, finish 12 and then switch the other. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, do two more. One, two, switch the other side, no breaks, of course, right into it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, put the dumbbells aside. Now, next exercise we're gonna do no bridge. We're gonna do uh, sumo deadlifts. We're gonna have the toes pointed outward and go down, go down here, squeeze the top. Two, three, 
two, eight to 12 reps, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more, 10, 11, one more, 12. All right, one, two, total, four sets of that. All right, next super set, we're gonna concentrate. We're gonna concentrate, emphasize the back of the legs, the front of the legs. First thing we're gonna do, um, stiff leg and deadlifts. The trick is I'm gonna have my heels elevated on, 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 on two plates, and we're gonna do 25 reps. So we're gonna do a total of four rounds, 25 reps, um, equal to, so we get to 100 reps right here. Go down, one, two, squeeze at the top, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Get that good stretch. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-five more. Five. Four, three, two, one, and one. All right, put that to the side. Now, we work the back of the legs and lower back. Now I'm gonna concentrate working the front of the legs. I know we do leg extensions for this, but since we're at home, I don't have a leg extension. Here, hold the dumbbells right here in front of you. My heels gonna be elevated still. 25 reps. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now I'm gonna hold it like this. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. I got five more. Five more reps. We got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. There you go. You want to do a total of four rounds there. So we end up being 100 steps like a deadlift. All right. <coughs> what, what would one of my workouts be without the conditioning? Right here, we're going to do ladder type um, um, conditioning training. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2, and complete. It's gonna be three exercises. And it's gonna be broken down, use the step. I'm gonna go down into a burpee, come up right here. That's one rep. I'm gonna do 12 just on this leg. As soon as I finish, I go back down. I do 12 on this leg. And then from there, second exercise, you're gonna, you're gonna touch here, jump up. You're gonna do 12 reps of that. And as soon as you finish that, you're gonna go here, jump up. Here, 12 on that side, 12 on that other side. But the trick is, once you finish all 12 reps, all three exercises, then you go back, go here, you do 10 on that side, 10 on this side, 10 jumps, 10 on this side, 10 on the other side, then you do eight, six, four, and two. And that will test your cardio endurance. It's all legs, getting your heart rate up, and you finish the workout with that. I'm about to do, I'm not gonna film the whole thing because it'll be too long. So that's the last thing I'm gonna do, the conditioning. Uh, let me show you the workout. If, you, even if you're not using the step, you can still do this workout that I'm conditioning without the step. Basically all you're doing is you're just gonna go down, come here, into a lunge, stay 12 on that side, come back here, another 12, and then the um, second exercise, you go here, touch, one, two, do 12 right there, and then right here, just come here, jump up, 12 on that side, 12 on the other, then 10, eight, six, all the way through, so you can do that even without the step. Right? And if you want to make it um, less impact, all you gotta do, just walk it down, come up, then do a lunge. 12 on that side, 12 on the other, and then just do regular squats, and then do real lunges. And then that's the, the conditioning. All right, finished with the, the workout. All right, now I'm gonna have my recovery shake. I got the muscle milk already, RTD, ready to drink already. So I'm gonna have that right now then shower up and then have a post meal. So 
All right, here's the post-workout meal slash lunch. As you can see, it's um, got tilapia, grilled tilapia, jasmine rice, and asparagus. And of course, to go with it, got to have that water. All right, here's my um, third meal to the day of the day. It's not much, basically. Got um, salad, basically just lettuce, and then what I'm gonna add to it is um, this tuna packet right here. Right here, quick little meal, like a bridge meal. You know, like the one I eat, this like the meal between lunch and then I have one more for dinner. So this is not much. It's only like maybe, maybe 300 calories all together. So yeah, I mix it all together. Not, not really messing with no solid dressing. I really don't need it. The tuna, the tuna is enough for me. So basically just um tuna, tuna salad with some water, quick little meal to keep me going until, until I eat. All right, now it's time I'm about to get a snack. It's not gonna be much, but something to satisfy the appetite. A quick snack, real quick. Make sure I'm, I'm using 100% peanuts. This type of peanut, but that's all it's in is is peanuts. That's what that's what you got to get. Not the other stuff that has sugars and all that. It's just 100% um, peanuts. And then what I have, I took like a medium-sized apple, um, cut it up, and I'm just gonna take like one scoop of this peanut butter and put it on the um, paper plate. You're right there and. That's all we got right now for the snack right now. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get into the last meal of the day. This will be my last meal, and then before um, before I go to bed, um, I'll do some some ab work and some steady state cardio here at the house, and then take my BCAs and, and go to bed. So this will be the last meal today. I know most people save eggs for um, eat eggs in the morning, but I like it at night because I like to have my favorite meal um, as my last meal as a reward. So basically, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have two whole eggs, about a half a cup of um, egg whites, and I got um, turkey sausage. I'm gonna add some fat-free mozzarella cheese, and then the trick to me to make the eggs taste good is I, I put in um, Mrs. Dash as it's cooking. So that's the meal we're gonna have. I'll, I'll show you when it's done what it looks like. All right, all right, now it's done. I'll show you what it looks like. See here, see basically I got the turkey sausage. I cut it up, put the put the um, eggs on top. Like I said, it's, it's two whole eggs. Mixed with about a half a cup of um, egg whites and this just give it a little bit more taste. I got this Chipotle um, hot sauce, which is zero calories, of course. And I'll just go ahead and sprinkle that on top. And then let's get out of this. The last meal of the day. Like I said, I, I saved the eggs for last because that, that's my favorite meal. So that's my go-to meal when I'm trying to cut. So let's get it. And then, like I said, I'll have this in about an hour and a half later from now. I'll do some more ab and some stay-stay.